Good evening and welcome. Last week I did a review of a Sierra Nevada torpedo. Well, this week it's the turn. Sorry, the Dorset flag is very flaggy in your moment. But anyway, this is Cosmic Little Thing. This is 8%. The torpedo was 7%. And I have to say, if memory serves, which after something like that, you can't always rely on it, can you? But I think it was probably the best beer I've ever had. You know? It's a bold statement, I know, but it was sensational. So this from Sierra Nevada, cosmic little thing, stronger again. I haven't read any of the blurb on the camp. It was just one that I ordered uh, from their website because I fancied something a bit different. And you get their pale ale, which is brilliant. So you see it in all the supermarkets. Um, and it's brilliant. And the torpedo was brilliant. I had the sunny little thing, which is decent enough. It's all right. It's not, not as good. Nowhere near as good, but in the scheme of things, still an excellent beer. This one, wow, the tropical smell coming off that. <laughs> You've no need to try and get that somewhere. Um, it's very hazy. It's actually dark at the top underneath the head. And it kind of like lightens up as it goes down. It's, um, I think we're in for something, what they call a bit dank. That's like the, the most New England IPA that I've ever smelled. And I know these are West Coast. I know they're California. But wow, look at that. Anyway, 8%. What could possibly go wrong? Goodness me. Something for a drink that is 8%, that is really light. That's blimey. When you get 8% uh, New England IPAs, they're dank and they're heavy. How the heck have they done that? I beg his belief, because the torpedo that I had is 7% or 7.2%. And it's really, the flavour is so strong. It comes through really strong on the back end. It does everything a West Coast IPA is supposed to do. This does everything a New England IPA is supposed to do. I mean... New England IPA is supposed to be light and refreshing. It's not supposed to be heavy and kind of like... It's where New England IPA goes wrong is is when it's kind of like tart almost. The best ones are the ones that are... Um, this. <laughs> it's, it's tough to know what to... To make of that, that, that's like nothing else I've ever tried. But that's a New England IPA, how you want it. It doesn't sit heavy. It's light at 8%. But the flavour's all there. And it comes through with a, a really beautiful bit of zest at the back end. Not bitterness. Just that um, orange peel, tangerine peel. My goodness me. 
I'm putting this alongside the torpedo. I prefer the torpedo. Um, because it's more my style. But if New England IPAs your style, you will love that. I do. A good comparison is the sunny little thing that I had, which is not as strong. It's about 5%. But it's... Um, the best way I can describe it is that the flavor is similar, but it kind of like sits in your mouth and goes stale after a while. This, the bitterness at the back end and the 8% alcohol sweeps that clean that is absolutely sensational my god that is brilliant um you certainly wouldn't want to have more than two of them because you'll start talking to the trees or something it, because that's the impact it's having <laughs> as if you haven't noticed um, that's what it's doing to me at the moment. It's kicking in. Um, what a beer. Cosmic little thing. By Sierra Nevada. You can go on the shop, get it. Um, it's not expensive either. It's about three and a half, four quid a can. But for that, you don't need more. That's going to last me the next hour easily. Um, yeah. Family owned. Operated and argued over is on the top of the can. They're wonderful, aren't they? They're making wonderful beer. It's the pale ale, like I said, is stunning. Um, word. I, I'll be getting that again. <laughs> Be good, Al.